This is the temporal lobe, the part of your brain where memory, emotion, and sound all collide, and when a seizure strikes here, it can feel like reality just flipped upside down. Chapter 1. Where it's located and what it looks like. The temporal lobe is located on each side of your brain, just above the ears, tucked beneath the lateral fissure. If you were to peel back the outer layer of your brain, you'd find it sitting just below the frontal and parietal lobes. It's one of the four major lobes of the cerebral cortex and is roughly the size of your palm. The temporal lobe has a curved shape that hugs the brainstem and extends back toward the occipital lobe. Anatomically, it's divided into superior, middle, and inferior temporal gyri. And deep within it lies one of the most seizure-prone areas of the brain, the hippocampus. The temporal lobe is part of both the neocortex and the limbic system, making it a hub for higher order processing and emotion. Chapter two, what it does. The temporal lobe is a multitasker. Its primary job is processing auditory information, meaning everything you hear first gets routed here, but it doesn't stop there. It also plays a huge role in memory formation, language comprehension, and emotional responses. The dominant hemisphere, usually the left in right-handed people, helps you understand spoken language via a region called Wernicke's area. Meanwhile, the non-dominant side handles things like music appreciation and recognizing tones of voice. Deep structures like the amygdala and hippocampus, both housed within the temporal lobe, contribute to forming memories and attaching emotional meaning to them. According to Squire and Zola in their 1996 study titled Structure and Function of Declarative and Non-Declarative Memory Systems, the hippocampus is essential for turning short-term experiences into long-term memories. Chapter three, what happens during a seizure? When seizures originate in the temporal lobe, they can look very different from the classic full body convulsions. These are often focal impaired awareness seizures, previously called complex partial seizures. Someone may suddenly stop talking, stare off, and perform automatic behaviors like lip smacking or fumbling with their clothes. Afterward, they might have no memory of what just happened. Because the temporal lobe is involved in emotion, these seizures can also include intense fear, deja vu, or even hallucinations of sounds or smells. Temporal lobe epilepsy is actually the most common type of focal epilepsy in adults. Engel et al. highlighted this in their 2013 review, Epilepsy, a comprehensive textbook, noting that medial temporal lobe epilepsy accounts for about 60% of all drug-resistant focal epilepsy cases. Chapter four, what happens when it's damaged? Damage to the temporal lobe, whether from injury, stroke, or frequent seizures, can cause a wide range of deficits. People may struggle with memory, have trouble understanding language, or experience mood instability. Long-term temporal lobe epilepsy can even lead to hippocampal sclerosis, a scarring of the hippocampus that worsens memory over time. Some individuals also report personality changes like becoming more withdrawn or emotionally reactive. And in some rare cases, temporal lobe damage can lead to a condition called Geschwin syndrome, characterized by hypergraphia, hyper-religiosity, and altered sexual behavior. It's a clear example of how vital this part of the brain is, not just for cognition, but for who we are as people. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in next Tuesday's episode.